If you want to know how to farm up to 1.5 million solent per hour, then watch till the end. So since you're here, you've probably realized that solent is the real bottleneck in the game. Like just as an example, if you want to make your weapon to plus 9, you will need between 84 to 246 weapon growth stones. And one weapon growth stone has about 41,140 solent in creation cost. So it that means on average for making one part in your gear plus 9, it will cost you about 5 million solent. So solent is really important, it's really important to farm them the correct way and currently most people I know are actually using the abyssal contract to farm um, their money so they are getting those dungeon runs up and then they go in those open dungeons like Silas Abyss and all of that and then they just slay monsters there and get the additional reward. This is not the fastest way currently to earn Solent and I will show you now how I am making 750,000 in one hour with absolute trash gear. And then I will show you how you can actually scale that up to 1.5 million Solent per hour over time. So what we need to do is we need to come over to Paola's Dimensional Circle. We need to choose the cave of destruction in basic. It has to be basic, otherwise we are not getting the um, kill speed that we need. And in this dungeon, even though if you queue with a six-man party, you will earn about 70,000 Solent for completing it. Even if you do not have any dimensional contract tokens left, it does not matter. I'm going to show you a couple um, small tricks and prioritizing in focus that will allow you to be able to do about 10 of those dungeons per hour. So you see it's like 700 to 750, like it's like 10 to 11. And on top, I will show you how to actually um, defeat the mechanics of the Lecherous boss here, because it does not work if you die at the boss. That's important. So you actually have to be um, killing the boss um, with your crew. So in the first case of the dungeon, you will encounter two different kinds of ants. The ones that are explosive and the ones that are not. You will always want to target the non-explosive ones first and bait the explosion of the other ants with your block. Then you don't need to waste any of your damage on those. In the next cave you have lava spawning. It's the same focus. The larvas that are non-explosive are first, so they don't develop into high HP ants and let the explosive ones develop and bait the explosion with your block. In the third cave you do want to kill the ants first that are linked to the giant poison sack and after they are dead, you kill the sack. Keep your focus on the boss at all times, the other ants will despawn once it's killed. So now let's come to the boss. If you're a tank, you will have to constantly block or your party will get massive AoE damage and wipe. If you're a DPS, you don't have to worry about anything. The ads he spawns did almost no damage and can be outwalked. So you fo your focus can stay on the boss at all times. The only exception is his mechanic, which will be signaled by a shout message above his head. Then you need to grab your feet quickly and run to one of those stone plateaus. And on one of them, an ant will spawn that you do have to kill ASAP. Then afterwards, the boss will come back out of the air and you can deal the finishing blow. And that easy, you farm 70 k Solent in less than 5 minutes. But if you think we are just here for the Solent, you will be surprised. Because this farm method will also be flooding your inventory with rare and epic crafting materials. Which you can then use to cheaply craft fresh epic recipes to level your trades for low, instead of wasting precious loosened in the auction house and buying the expensive fur. So now let's come back to the promise I made at the start of the video and let me try to explain you how to double your hourly solar. To fully understand, we need to take a quick look at the loot distribution in the game where one dungeon boss has a defined amount of gold and let's say it can drop about 500k. If you would contribute to the kill by 10%, you would get 50k. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. And this means the more players you are cutting from your party, the higher your profit will be as long as you are providing the damage. So your goal is to play with one tank and you are the solo DPS, which is in fact doable with medium gear, 
plus two of my friends are doing it and they both walk away with 1.5 million stolen per hour. And a little sneak peek about what's possible beyond this. If you have already really good gear, you can actually solo the dungeon Cursed Wasteland in basic due to the static nature of the boss. And this will reward you with up to 2 million stolen per hour. And on my server, there's already a couple crossbow daggers that are able to run it solo. So what are you waiting for?